Welcome to the Property Entrepreneur's Journey. Success and failure are both very, very predictable. And having worked with thousands of entrepreneurs around the UK, initially you'll be reassured to hear that we all have the same challenges, the same problems, and the same obstacles to overcome. The reassuring thing for you is one of the problems entrepreneurs don't tend to have is the ability to make money turning on the tap, getting things going, creating a new revenue stream. The challenge that entrepreneurs have is turning that into a proper business. Once the revenue's coming in, the challenge is to systemize it. The challenge is to structure it. The challenge is to recruit a team to turn it into a proper business. Over this next three videos, I'm gonna take you through the property entrepreneur's journey. This is a way of working. It's a very clear methodology. It's just what to do and when to do it. The first one we're gonna look at is the three levels. So basically, where are you now? Where are you in your business? Where are in your personal life? Where are you in your property portfolio? Where are you now? And where do you want to get to? What will get you started won't get you to the next level. The problems that are created here won't achieve the solutions over here. And what I'm gonna take you through is the three levels that are required to take you from where you are now to where you want to get to. Each of these levels has its own set of unique challenges and obstacles. The challenges you have here will be different for here and for here, different to here. But in the same way as driving a Formula One car, you can't just jump in a McLaren, take it around the track and race in competition. You need to earn your stripes, you need to cut your teeth, and you need to figure out what's required at each level to take your business forward. At the landlord level, it will all be about working. Roll your sleeves up, put the effort in, put the energy, go to the meetings, go and learn all the information that's available. The first phase is just working, is, is getting enough momentum going to get the business going. After that, we have the investor. So the investor is still very active in the property business, but has a small team, has some systems, and it's more of a lifestyle uh, arrangement. There's a bit of a team going on there. And then the third level is the entrepreneur level. The entrepreneur is uh, very arm's length from the business, works on the business rather than in it, is very strategic, normally the visionary, and the business is very standardized, uh, very valuable, and very, very scalable. As we go through these levels, there's completely different challenges and completely different experiences at each step. One of the important things to note is that you don't just go, you might want to be an investor, you might want to be an entrepreneur, but you don't just go to that stage straight away. You have to go through the levels one level at a time. During the first phase at landlord level, your focus will be swapping time for money. You're plowing all your effort in, all your energy just to get this thing going and you get time, you put in the time and you get out the money. When you move to investor level, it flips. So when you get to investor level, it's about putting money back in to get back your time. So you will have to go into a dip there, take a knock in revenue, buy back your time, become more strategic and actually start building a business at the manager level, at investor level. And at the entrepreneur level, this is when you focus on trading value for assets the value you add to the company, the value you add to the culture, the value you add to your teams, you wanna use those to create assets, partnerships, joint ventures, opportunities to scale. Really look at the, the big picture that you have the privilege to do when you can actually step away from the day-to-day -day business. The key thing to remember as you travel through the three levels is it's one thing at a time. The challenges here are different to here, and the challenges here are different to here. In the next video, we're gonna look at how do you actually get through that? How do you actually move from one level to the next? But before we move on, I'd encourage you to think, which level are you currently at? So where are you currently at? And where would you like to be? On video two, we'll show you how to get there.